Welcome, Leo. Thank you for visiting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. If this reading resonates, please feel free to contact me for a private reading at the email listed below this video. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it and see what's happening for Leo. Okay, so we have the Devil, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Leo, so first card from the top left is the Devil card, and the Devil card indicates some sort of uh, bondage connection, some sort of addiction, some sort of darkness that may be surrounding you and a partnership. You may be in a relationship that could be toxic. Now, this won't apply to all of you. This might apply to some of you. You may be with a partner who has an addiction and will later need financial help and may get ill because of their addiction. And you're in tune about this. You know what's going on with the Queen of Wands. You know what will happen. You know what's ahead, yet you're still with this person for some reason. And if this is the situation that you're in, maybe here with the Queen of Swords, it's time you step up and say, no, I'm not going to take this anymore and communicate to them that you are assessing your options and there's more behind you and out there with the Three of Wands here. Now, for some of you, this could indicate someone's interested in you at a workplace, someone that you know you're not supposed to be with. This could also indicate an unhealthy relationship of some, some kind. It could also indicate that you start to partake in taboo activities with this person or maybe this person or yourself could be involved in bondage of some sort as seen by the chains here. But the devil is quite a dark card. So there's some sort of dark mystery. There could be a mystery surrounding a person or a partnership. This could also be a friendship. I feel as though if this is a friendship, you may have a friend um, approaching you this month asking you for financial help, asking you for physical help. And I feel as though you know it's coming and you've got a hunch about this person and you know what's ahead and they'll communicate this to you here with the Queen of Swords that they need your help or you will approach them and say, hey, I can see that you need help and you're not going, you know, you're not on track. Maybe they're addicted to drugs or alcohol or a, a certain toxic relationship themselves. Either way, the Devil card is a reminder that there's some sort of connection and link, something that's holding us down. This could be a business partnership. Maybe you're involved in someone that's no longer serving the business, that doesn't have the, the business's best interest at heart. So this could be a friendship, but I feel there's some sort of addiction. Maybe you're going through some sort of addiction. Maybe you're finding it hard to let go of a, a job that's no longer serving you, a significant other that's no longer serving you, a friend that maybe once you thought was a friend but isn't anymore. So that needs to stop because the devil card will only drink drag us down and down and down and that's not where we want to go down into that darkness but I feel for the most part you're intuitive about whatever this is isn't you know doesn't have your best interest at heart the queen of wands is here and she's someone that's very in tune someone that's very spiritual someone that has premonitions intuitions hunches someone that's into the esoteric arts someone that's one with nature you know, is very animalistic, is in tune with animals, maybe has psychic abilities. This could be you. Maybe you're, you know, referring to the esoteric arts. Maybe you're getting readings from uh, people that read palms or read tarot cards or psychics. But I feel this is you. You've got a hunch about whatever's happening around you. You know something's up. You know someone needs help. You know someone's addicted. You know this person or place or job isn't the best for you. And you know it. I'm just wondering why you're not stepping up and changing this about yourself if you know it no longer serves you. Also with the Queen of Wands, it may, it could indicate, I mean, to those that don't have this toxic relationship or addiction or anything, this could just indicate that you're attract, you're really sexually attracted to someone around you. Maybe there's someone brand new and you're single. Maybe you're coupled up and they come into your workplace and you meet them and there's just this... There's no denying this strong sexual attraction you share with this person. Queen of Wands, there's some sort of sexual, natural energy about this person. And I'm feeling like it's you, Leo. It's fire. There's lust and passion. My God, it's just, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's, it's almost addictive even. So be careful not to fall into that trap. Also with the Queen of Wands, if this is regarding a work situation, I feel as though you're in tune with what's going on around you at work. I feel like you know something's up. I feel like you know you might be leaving or you know you're assessing your options. There's something you know of that's about to change or about to take place and you've already pre-planned it. This is what I'm picking up, Leo. 
Now also with the Five of Pentacles, this is someone asking for help. This could be that you get involved into charity work. This could be a friend asking you for help, a lover. This could be someone that's ill. This could be you. Maybe you fall ill. Maybe you need help. Maybe you need money, you know, of some kind and someone to help you. Maybe someone asks you for money. Someone's destitute. Someone's ill. Someone's unwell. Someone's, you know, not at ease. So just be mindful, someone could be asking, and that's why I say here with the devil card, this could be someone that is going through an addiction, a loss of some kind, someone that's in the darkness, whether it's in money with the pentacles, whether it's in their sexual partners here with the devil, whether it's in their family home, but someone is asking you for help. It could be you that asks for help, Leo. Maybe you've overindulged and you need the help now. Moving on, we do have the Ten of Cups, so this is a beautiful card of happy family homes, reunions, good times. Maybe you're catching up with an ex-partner and you, you know, you get sexually involved with them again. Maybe you're just catching up with your family and having a beautiful, you know, a meal together. This is a family function, maybe. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you're buying a house, and if that's the case, be wary about who you're dealing with here with the Devil card. You'll have a hunch about this person. You'll feel something's off. And you'll know, you'll know deep down, you'll know it in every bone of your body that something's not well. I mean, but this, despite these cards, maybe this could indicate the first half of the month. I feel like it's really positive. You're assessing your options here with the three of wands. There's choices you have to make. And this could be that you have three options in front of you. This could be in work and or love. And you might be offered or communicated these offers here, these options, sorry, with the Queen of Swords also. But you, I feel like you want to go elsewhere, Leo. I feel as though you're invested in somewhere else, in some sort of opportunity or somewhere else. Maybe this relationship or this business partnership or this addiction or this darkness isn't serving you, this overindulgence. This could also just indicate going out too much, being too free, being too open, being too sexual. You know what I mean? Be giving yourself too much. And maybe that's no longer what you want to do. I feel as though some soul searching, some self-discovery needs to be done here with the Three of Wands. This could also indicate travel. Maybe you're traveling somewhere to help out a charity. Maybe you're traveling somewhere, somewhere and you meet someone and have a one-night stand. Or you meet someone that's, you know, partaking in drugs or, you know, just drinking too much. Maybe someone does those sort of things at a family reunion and you'll just, you'll hear that they have gone into rehab or something like that. But you've got intuition about something, Leo, this month. You're, and you. I need you to follow your intuition because you're right. It will lead you to a discovery of some kind. You'll find out someone needs help or you need help. Or you need to travel and do this self-discovery. And if you're drawn to something for some reason, there's a reason why. You need to investigate and dig deeper. Because there was a, there's, there's something at stake here for it. That's how I feel. Now, moving on, you have the Queen of Swords, and this is someone that knows what they want. Could be male or female under the sign of Gemini. Could be a Libra or Aquarius also. But Leo, maybe you've been dealing with an air sign, and they will tell you exactly what it is they want. They will put it exactly, and you might have, um, you know, had a premonition about this moment or had a hunch or some sort of intuition led you to this. Maybe you're meeting an air sign, and that's where you overindulge with this air sign. Maybe this air sign or, you know, a fellow fire sign or even an earth sign, actually, maybe they need help. Maybe that's their job. Maybe, you know, if you're meeting someone brand new or you meet, you might meet someone overseas that runs a charity or partakes in charity events or is a carer, works at a hospital, looks after the elderly, looks after the parents. Maybe it's you that's looking after your parents. But I feel there's a lot of communication surrounding you here with the Queen of Wands. You will hear about this matter. You will speak to someone about traveling or you'll speak to someone about this neglect for a relationship or you'll speak to someone about overindulging or someone might speak about you about overindulging. So just be mindful of these things. But communication is needed here with the Queen of Words, with the Queen of Swords, sorry, and you will be the Queen of Words. You will have a way with words this month. You will be able to express yourself exactly how you need to, to become the Ten of Cups, to become this happy family, this happy couple to have this happy lifestyle, be grateful for what you have, to look at the rainbow. Now we'll see what the priestesses have to say. We'll see what comes up for you. 
Oh, beautiful. Okay, so Priestess of Intuition. Her dates are January 21st to Feb 17th. Something significant could happen around these dates. And you do have the Queen of Wands. So again, intuition is really heightened for you. So you'll definitely know something's up. Intuition will direct you here. Follow that gut. Follow that inner feeling because it's it's right. It's circling around you for a reason. You might not see it now, but it this other side will be revealed to you. Maybe someone you're involved with has a darker side that you haven't seen yet. Maybe you'll see it when you'll travel together. Maybe you'll see that they need more financial help, more than you ever dreamed of. Maybe they're not who they say they are with the priestess of intuition. This could also be in a job, you know, maybe you're intuitive about a business partner, a business deal. You know, maybe that traveling isn't good for you. You're getting an intuition that you're not, you're going to become destitute if you go on these travels or you take this idea or you go with this person. So follow that intuition. You're spot on, Leo. Don't ignore it. Okay, what else? We have solitude. So you have the priestess of solitude and here she is standing amongst these stones. You also have the queen of swords. There's a lot of air energy around you. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign or maybe you have air in your chart, but solitude is needed. You need to communicate your words. You need to regroup and rethink. You know, you're guided by your intuition very much so this month. And now it's to put these this intuition and this to address these issues in person with your swords here. And there's a bit of duality. You're conflicted here. You've got a sword pointed down. You've got a sword pointed up. But you both have birds. So there's liberation either way. With If what you have to say is bad, maybe condescending, or what you have to say is positive, it will make it will liberate you in some way or liberate the person you're addressing. This is what I'm picking up. Solitude is needed. Maybe you need a break from this person, this business partner, this overindulgence. Maybe you just need to uh, relax. Maybe you need to help out at a charity. Maybe that will give you that... Or travel but solitude is needed to become this free liberated person you know free of this torment free of these bad dark thoughts maybe that's what you've been getting i hope this has been insightful for you leo um you know if if this does resonate with you and you'd like to know um how things are going in your particular situation please feel free to contact me for a private reading otherwise i hope you have a lovely month